Who's that guy? It's Dylan. Hello, troublemakers. I didn't forget. I got it. For a second, you're like, who's that old man on the screen? Nope, just me. It's your neighborhood 20 year old fella. Welcome back to First and Last. If you're unfamiliar with the series, we watched the pilot of a show and then the series finale. Nothing in between. Today, we're watching New Girl, which is a show I watched the pilot of a long time ago when it first aired, but I had to drop it. I had no choice because the show directly insulted me. See, you guys know about me. I like to pick favorites. It just makes life more interesting when you just play favorites with things. And you know who I liked in the first episode? This guy. This guy was the best character. He was so funny. And then episode two rolls around, guess what happens? He's not there. He moved out. So then I dropped the show after like three episodes, because how dare they? Do I still feel the same way about these characters? We'll find out. Are these episodes 20 minutes? Yep, okay, we'll do the first and second episode. And then we'll do the last two episodes as well. So you know in horror movies, when the girl's like, there's something in the basement. Let me just run down there in my underwear. And she's like, okay, but it's too late because she's already getting murdered. Uh, my story's kind of like that. Oh, he's cheating, right? So she's got to move out. Jess! What? <laughs> Who's Jess? She's the new girl. Doing sexy things with the pillow to the plant rack. Oh. I'll pick that up later. Oh, she plays awkward so well. Oh my God. <laughs> this is her niche. She's so good. I want to, I want to cringe into a ball and then hope I stop existing. That's, that's kind of how her acting makes me feel. Who's that girl? It's Jess. <gasps> it's Jess. Oh, he's cheap. Who's that girl? It's Jess. It was something about the words he used. It was beigey. <laughs> what are you doing? What about these? These look beige to you? Sorry. These? It's kind of the house that Coach built right here. These. Oh, I. <laughs> Do these look beige to you? And I was like, what's what are these? Because his abs aren't super defined. I thought he was talking about his nipples. I'm like, no, your nipples are uh salmon, a salmon color. Salmon. How do you? I don't know how to pronounce. There's an L there. Salmon. 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 That L is a fucking misdirect. Why is it not salmon? When is it L ever silent? Llama. I guess the second L there is. Si I'm getting dumb. I'm genuinely getting dumber. Go put a dollar in the jar right now. Are you serious? Beautiful. It gets so much light. It's also a massive apartment. Wait, there's four people? Is this a four bedroom apartment? She dumped me. Okay, it was six months ago, guys. Get past it. Why is everybody looking at me? You know what? Jokes like these, you work out the kinks, you figure out the, the the comedic timing of your character and how you bounce off other characters. If they had shot that joke for season two, I bet it would have been way funnier. But I will say this, I have lived with a woman, and so I know that there are pros, and I know that there are real cons. They'll ruin your life if you let them. They'll break down your will to live. <laughs> She's in. Yay, I'm in! She's an eavesdropper. Oh, I kind of like that. I was about to make fun of the fact that they have lockers. But that's in a homely setting. It's kind of a nice decor choice. It's sad that I'm moving into that phase of my life where I'm looking for that stuff. I'm going crazy, Schmidt. I can't take it. You know what? I got this. <laughs> Comedic excellence right here. Ready? Watch him turn. I got this. <laughs> that's just funny, right? He's my favorite. That's why. Why'd you get rid of him? Stop it. Stop. We'll get you a rebound. It's going out to find a rebound. Who's that girl? It's just. Oh my god. She would be so annoying to live with. You have no idea what I'm going through at work. Just trying to do my work. Nice tie. Can I borrow a tampon? <laughs> Schmidt, I'm not calling her. Uh, why? I don't get this. Nice tie. Can I borrow a tampon? <laughs> so, because he has a pink tie, they're like, oh, you're so girly. Is that the joke here? There's gotta be something more. I'm just trying to do my work. I'm trying to do a good job. Can I borrow a tampon? I don't get this cutaway at all. Myself, no. Just call Caroline. This bathroom, are they? Is this building like a reno? This is bright. Is this like an old renovated school? This build, like that's cool. That's cool if it is. I hope we find out. Hey. Hey guys. <laughs> that was funny. Good work, man. Good joke. He's so funny. I don't know how to talk to women. Hey, women! Men! Why are they just sticking on this one static shot? There's so much like energy to the performances. He's yelling, she's breaking down, and the camera's just like boring. Eh, I'm gonna capture this. Do quick cuts back and like liven up the editing here. But maybe think about what women like to talk about. Shopping. Is that fun for you guys? <laughs> the other day I bought a pair of jeggings. Who cares? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I miss him already. He's not even gone yet. Lowering your voice. Right on. Um. <laughs> That is the fakest smoke I've ever seen in my life. Your hair is on fire. No button to that joke? 
<laughs> I do appreciate all these are clearly defined characters. Like this guy, he's got some flamboyance to him. He's got that douchebag jar taking off his shirt, right? That's interesting. The guy that I like, he can't talk to women. They're clearly defining each character. Jess is like this quirky, weird girl. Oh, okay, I got this, I got this. Got hey, one. sailor. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Schmidt! Oh, it is all about the Benjamin! What's up? Uh, What's up, Coach? <laughs> coach is the best! Are you coming on Saturday? I hear there's gonna be some fine ladies. Maybe, yeah, I heard it's not gonna be that good this year. No. Are you not on the list? Why are you friends with those guys? Nick, please get me in the party. I'm begging you. No, I'm not calling Carolyn. Hey, what are you drinking? She's doing all right. Hmm? Yeah, but they, they set the guy up to be a douchebag. There's no way she's going home with him. They wanted her to get a rebound, but this guy, this guy's not the guy. You can't send him out to be a bad guy and then have her go home with him. Especially in the pilot. I think you're gonna go wholesome. You go wholesome here, right? He asked me out. What are you, a model or something? Oh my God, this is so creepy. I'm a little warm right now. No, oh. Jesus Christ. Please put your shirt back on. I concur. Can I hit you up with some tea? A little herb tea, piment tea. Yum, right? Hot, sweet. Oh my god, it's not funny. Teabag action. You cannot be cringy intentionally, but then not be funny. Because then you're just cringy and you don't get the bonus points for doing it intentionally. Uh, Caroline, I'm looking for Caroline. Hey, Nick. Thank you so much for getting us in. You can stop prank calling me. What? I, I think I'm almost finished out here if you do you want to go grab a drink. No, oh my god. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. No. <laughs> sure, god. yeah, let's. Oh. Why? You broke up. It's been six months. Stop talking. Why would she suggest this? He's been prank calling her. He's clearly not over you. Don't do any, like distance. You need, you need space. You need many meters and feet and yards of distance. Actually, hold on. I'm sorry. But why did you dump me? Ah, you, you, fuck, man. She invited you for a drink. Ease into this. Oh, Jesus. Um, oh my God, this is gonna go poorly. Okay, are we doing this here? Yeah. Like now? Yeah, she's doing you a favor, bro. You, she, she got you into this dumbass party. Why would you do this? I didn't even realize that you cared about me until we broke up. What? Let's get that drink. <laughs> oh yeah, now it's not gonna be awkward. What are you there, muchachos? Oh. So is she waiting for you to show up or did you call her? Yeah, that's what I did. I called her. Uh -oh. Redemption, redemption for this guy here. Cause he's the only one that's friends with those douchebags, right? Nick. You're not gonna punch one of them? No, I gotta go help a friend, Caroline. No violence? Go punch the dudes! Go punch... Ah. We care about you. That's so nice. <laughs> Wait, how How do they not figure this out? Like, she was going on a date at the same time as the party that they knew the guy she was going on a date with wanted to go to. Like, he, he, he was for sure going to that party. Because that's all I could talk about is this legendary party that happens once a year. Why would he skip out on that for a first date? He wouldn't. Why? They should have seen this coming. Why? Dumb. <laughs> How do I feel? I don't know. I'm conflicted. I know you've had a really rough go of it. No matter what, I would still totally do you. Oh, that's so sweet. Jar. Yeah. A jar. That's a good ending where it's like she's fitting in. The guys have been doing the jar thing the whole episode. Now she's in on it. Shows that she's a part of this, right? That's good. I think especially Jess. Zoe Deschanel, she plays these characters in such like an innocent and I think sweet. Sweet is the best word. Her character is very sweet, but she is not as sweet as saving money when you're online shopping using money. Today's sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> This video is sponsored by Honey. Honey is a free online shopping tool that saves you money. Let's say you're online shopping. Could be for anything. I'm talking a new computer, a chair, clothes, jewelry. Honey works on most sites and a lot of sites that you're probably already buying stuff online from. As you're checking out, Honey will pop up and say, hey, let me let me just do a quick scan. Let me try to find some promo codes and discounts for you. It takes a couple seconds. Boom, save you some money. I've saved hundreds. In fact, in 2022, I've probably saved more than $1,000 already. Recently, you guys know I've been meaning to go shopping <laughs> for about the past 15 months I've been contemplating doing that and I finally did it I bought a bunch of new shirts recently and this one included it's so comfortable I put a bunch of shirts in my cart as I'm checking out honey's like hey Dylan let me check let me see if I can save you some money $137 I saved $137 that I would have otherwise not have saved it is convenient it is hassle-free it takes about two clicks to get honey it could not be easier to use and that's how technology should be it should be simple it should be convenient it should be fast honey nails all those things go to joinhoney.com slash Dylan of course I'll leave that link down below and the next time you're on Online shopping, there's a good chance Honey's gonna save you some money. Thank you to Honey for sponsoring. Let's get back to New Girl. Let's go on to episode two. Let's see the, the so they shot the pilot, they showed it to the executives, the executive said yes. So now 
all the writers get together. They're like, they start fleshing out the whole plot for the first season. They start figuring out the characters. Although they, I feel like they had a pretty good grasp on the characters in episode one. I'll see what they do in episode two here. Jess, can I ask you something? You want my help? You consider me a sexy man, correct? I don't know how to answer that question. Okay, look, I'm meeting a girl for drinks. Tonight. I have to get to school because it's astronomy day and I'm dressing up. Oh my God. Oh my fucking God. Already, it's so much crisper. They tie, like everything's so much tighter already. Just the way that they're cutting, how quickly they're getting into the jokes. Where in the room do I look sexiest? You know, like, like, like the rhythm of this. This is so much better. <laughs> Schmidt wants to know where in his room he looks the sexiest. What are your choices? Okay, I'm glad you asked. All right. <laughs> Here. Or here, you know, maybe just God, that's read the one. book. Can I see him again? Please. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what was the first one again? Okay, I get it. I'll laugh at Schmidt. Great. Here. <laughs> that was a great intro. Who's that girl? Ah, oh, who's that guy? I'm no fan of you, sir. I'm no fan. No, 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 no. Put bitch. your shirt on. Me... Put your shirt on. It's the morning. He's gonna it's the morning. Oh my God, this show's so much better. I'm so happy. I really didn't want to rail on the show. I can't deny my own feelings though, you know? Like if I don't like something, I'm gonna tell you. But the second episode is just so much crisper. Ah. Bad call. I've been talking to the guys about boundaries. Do you have a tank top I could borrow? You look like you're about my size. It's just that I'm really low on clothes right now. Cause the show kind of did him dirty. Really low on clothes right now. Cause like they're not even giving him, a, they're just cutting to him, not giving him a joke. No wonder I didn't like him. And I just like grabbed whatever I could and- Jess, you know what? I'll let you just stop cutting to him. Leave behind in my room after we phonicate. That size is zero through 10. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah! I am so happy you're back. I'm not. I wish you were gone. Bring coach back. A little b-ball, huh? <laughs> defense, watch out for the defense, Nikki. <laughs> hey, Schmidt. Oh my god, she's so perfect. Does anyone play awkward like she does? I'll get you a new one. I just can't afford it right now. You have a TV at Spencer's? Yeah, I do. It's really big and thin and brave. Go get it. Go get it. He has a power over me. <sighs> Jess, I know. <sighs> Closure. Ouch. Am I right? I don't know at all what you're saying right <laughs> now. Okay. <laughs> Man, the way that this show can just nail jokes, but then just whiff on other jokes. Cause it's either like a like a really, really top tier joke or just the lamest thing I've heard in a week. So you're making all the calls now, Schmidt. This must mean you are the top dog. I mean, when I moved out, there was a power vacuum. Yeah, I needed a leader. I didn't know which end was up. Next to bottom, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Say, when- the plot of this episode, I assume, is now the power struggle between returning Winston, who doesn't have top dog energy, casting wise, I'm trying to put my bias aside because I miss Coach already. But I just, I don't think he brings that energy as an actor. You know who brought that energy? He's Coach. <laughs> How's, um... Rochelle. Rochelle? Yeah, we have a lot in common. Obviously, we both love bikes. I love bikes. Not enough. Not enough. <laughs> I love bikes. Not enough. Um... <laughs> You need to stand up and you need to fight him. Pretend this is Spencer's face. Punch it. Harder than that. Come on, Jess. Is she gonna slap him? What's the button of this joke? I'm mad! Good! I gotta go get my Go stuff. get it! I'm gonna ask you guys right now to come with me. Because I can't carry everything alone and I can't be alone. Mm -hmm. ah. The show awkwardly ends scenes. Typically, you try to end your scene with like the funniest joke. But instead, they're just like, we'll just end it when we feel like it. Even if it's not funny, like they'll end on like a bad joke and it kind of like, like you want to be laughing during the scene transition. Your hand is on my leg. Your hand's on my leg. No, it really isn't. Classic he said, she said. That's not funny. Jesus Christ. You are the top dog here. What, what, are, you, what, what are you doing? There's no top dog clown. <laughs> You're trying to make me look stupid. <laughs> You can't consistently hit me with A plus jokes and then hit me with like D minus jokes. Is she gonna punch him in the face? That'd be actually funny. I'm coming in. It'd be funny if she smashes the TV. I got it. Oh my God, we created a monster. Didn't you guys come to help her carry stuff? Soft hands. Why are you still in the car? She's struggling. I, this is, dog, I don't understand at all. They came to help her get her stuff and yet she's struggling with her stuff, carrying it out of the house and they're just like, oh, looks like she's struggling. Jess, don't, don't drop it. Oh, finally. Oh. That, that's the super nice TV. <laughs> when was this film? 2004? It's over. Why is no one getting punched? But I love these guys. I would just take it easy with the love stuff. All of them. 
Oh. Oh, finally, violence. I am immensely conflicted right now. It is difficult early on in a show's run to, especially if you're a show that's doing comedy and like this heartwarming, heartfelt journey. It's hard to like mesh those two well, because on one hand, you want to make sure people are laughing while also giving weight to the serious moments. A lot of times comedic actors, they'll prioritize jokes. So if there's improv, actors are probably gonna lean towards just making jokes in serious moments, just kind of throw off the flow. About three years, oh, is this? Oh, Jess and Nick return from a European book tour. What? All right, let's go. That's that's episode one. We're not doing that. We're doing episode seven. There's only eight episodes in the final season? How many episodes was season one? 24? Season two? 25. Was season seven just like a quick little send off? Looks like it. Season six, yeah. Curse of the Pirate Bride. Jess and Nick ignore pre-wet. Okay, I'm spoiling myself. Episode seven of the final seventh season. Second to last episode. Nick here is a lazy piece of human garbage with a flat ass and the writing talent of a brain dead alcoholic. <laughs> Nick sucks as a person, y'all. That's right. <laughs> he really does. And you did tell him to go hard. Did I actually tell them to go hard and to not get scared. So that, that's where the confusion might be. I'm waiting. <laughs> oh my god, I'm waiting. I was I had high expectations. Two minutes in, there was one C tier joke and it's a lot of D tier jokes so far. You shouldn't have slept together the night before your wedding. It is bad luck. Mom, that's just a stupid superstition. I love you. Love you too. Also, your wang is out. It is? I'm getting married in Oh no. No! There's gotta be some story behind this. This uh, I feel like I should have I should watch the last two episodes of season six instead. <laughs> the season holds an approval rating of 100% based on 10 reviews. Why did New Girl season seven only have eight episodes? So they could give the series a proper ending. Okay. Yeah, probably got canceled, but they, some studio head was like fighting for this show to get a good send off, I guess. Well, then Chris could kiss my ass and you can kiss my face. <laughs> give me a joke, please. <laughs> Did she slip and fall? She hit her eye. Did you ever think Jess was gonna want to marry me? You did? That's a very sweet thing to say. What's a groom supposed to do on his wedding day? I said day. My no. publisher just showed up. I want to see what he thinks about my new book. I get it. I get it. You're following up on some past joke. It's not funny. <laughs> I'll be surprised if that joke was ever funny. A guy that doesn't talk, but they act like he can talk. Conceptually, it's not funny. No boys allowed. Get him, Mario. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Mom! Really, just take a small toke. It's not that strong. It's so weak they call it gun control in America. That's not funny. It's not funny, and then... Because I'm not laughing, because I'm... You, you can see her talking after the line is done being delivered. It's so weak they call it gun control in America. Look! Hey, babe. See, if, if it was a funny joke, we would be laughing. We wouldn't be paying attention to that. But... God damn it. I'm keeping track of my brain. There's one B tier joke, and then everything else is garbage. Oh my god, I am so high. Oh no, this isn't funny at all. Strap on a spare patch, and Nick marries a sexy fly. I'm just gonna. Now our marriage is cursed. Curses aren't real. Yeah, but you believe in crystals. Crystals are real, dude. Don't say nothing bad about crystals. Okay. Decent joke. Oh, well, and then a bird pooed on Where's the bird? I poo on Those him. two things happen. <laughs> We're not Winston saving this episode. Lacey, see? Oh, I'm so mad about politics. Ah! What a shit joke. Take me to drugs. Take me to drugs there right now. There we go. Oh. <laughs> this is so pain. I don't even have commentary. Like, I got nothing to say. This is fucking trash. You know what? This episode is so bad that I can't wait to see Winston again. Want to know that Nick and I are safe and no cartoon anvil's gonna fall out of the sky and crush us to smithereens. Is that crazy? No, maybe it's not signs and curses. I was waiting for the button to that joke. That was the joke. Oh my fucking. Deep down, you know you and Nick aren't right for each other. Wow. My passion sitting in a dank stairwell with her ex. These two dated? Don't marry Nick. Be with me. Ah! Oh! I love you. What? For a hundred ducks. I mean, this is my daughter. Unbelievable. That's your daughter? Let me make you happy. Let me make you dead, you oh, son of a- What think you do, Russell? Oh, I'm winning, I'm winning! Take that! I'm losing, I'm losing! Oh, Jess, that dress, you look- Can you commit to the fight? Like, if there's one thing that is going to make up for a bad episode, it's just violence. Give me violence and I'll love it, okay? But the fact is, you attacked him by, like, hugging him. Now the ex has got his arm wrapped around the, the husband, like they're pals. This is the worst fight. Ugh. They can't do anything right. What happened? I have a theory, and as soon as I saw eight episodes, 
alarm bells. Because every other season had like 20 plus episodes. I think they rushed this season out. A lot of the writers left because they're like, oh, let's just do a quick thing. We don't need all, the whole team. Let's just get a couple people. We'll just fart something out and hopefully it works. For closure. Sorry about your hand. <sighs> when did he hurt his hand? When did he hurt his hand? When was that ever a thing? He never threw a punch. Thanks for putting this together. When I'm feeling blue. Phil Collins! Great selection. Great choice. We're three minutes. Shut up, you're interrupting Phil Collins, sir. Is Phil Collins still alive? If he's dead, I'm gonna be so fucking sad. Is Phil Collins. I forgot to add that. Is he. <laughs> is Phil Collins still rich? Is he still rich? 260, huh? Phil, you got a daughter? Actually, isn't his daughter an actress? He's still alive, guys. Okay, Phil Collins is still alive. We can rest easy. Oh, damn. That's funny. All right, let's get on to this fucking last episode. Everybody meet Dan Bill. Dan Bill Bishop. I'm not kidding. It's Dan Bill Bishop. Okay, this is the real final episode. The last one, it doesn't matter. We're not, we're not counting that. I'm gonna overlook it. All I need is just within the first three minutes of this episode, I need one top tier joke. That's all you gotta do. Provide. You put Phil Collins into your show. I respect it. I don't need much. Just one. Just one. You're on with Schmidt and Cece. I think I'm passing in Winston, Ellie, and Dan Bill. Are we really calling him Dan Bill? It sounds like a weird town in Connecticut. It's their child. Dan Bill. It sounds like a bird. Oh, there goes that Dan Bill. I'm right. It's not even funny. Hate to be the bearer of truly terrible news. Nick and I are moving out of the law. That's it? Why do you always think like a character in the Babysitter's Club? <gasps> what? What, re what reference is that? Babysitter's Club? What a niche reference. What the fuck is this? A group of five middle school friends decide to launch their very own babysitting business in Stony Brook, Connecticut. And you were like, yeah, this is a series that enough people are going to know to get the reference. That's on Yunk. So you know, it's kind of funny that this is typically how sitcoms end too, that they have to like say goodbye to the place that they once loved. That's how Friends ended. That's how the... How did The Office end? I don't know, but that's how a lot of comedy... Sh sh that's, how, that's how Three's Company ended. Going back. We're going back. I'm sure other shows have ended the same way. I just can't think of any, any other examples right now, but I'm sure there are others. We're ready to say goodbye. Nobody leaves until we celebrate this place. Behold objects from... This jingle, that feels like a Home Depot jingle. Dan it, Dan it. The power of the Home Depot. Objects from your past to make you remember and- Oh no, oh God, they're doing the recollection thing. They're doing like, oh, look at all these past events that I, <laughs> that I have never seen. Oh, this is gonna be great for you guys and not for me. Put it in your purse. Excuse me? Go put it in your purse. Put it in your purse when you go for Remember this? Uh, the wand I used to fix the uh, garbage disposal. That one time. I will never, ever forget the night that you brought us all together to show us a bunch of our old trash. We should let you have. Thank, Thank you. you. So no. Huh? No. This is I. Uh, I don't know about this plot. I like it works on paper, but your finale is like one character wants to be here and all the other characters don't want to be here. It sets us as an audience like uh, all these characters are just trying to bail and leave. I don't know. It's just not a good feeling. I want to see these characters enjoying their time together, not being like ah, uh, we gotta go to our own separate things. It's not a good feeling. I don't like it. We will get it. What is that? What's all that stuff? Peppermint lotion? For your feet. Listen, I've been giving you that lotion every year since we met. And now I got all these bottles of lotion. Why would you not just throw the lotion away? If you're just gonna put it in a box, Mart's gross stuff, why wouldn't you just put it where you put other gross stuff that you don't want in the trash? You guys were humoring me? You told oh everyone to pretend to care? Jess, it's... I just, like, genuinely, be an adult. God damn it. I Like, this is your finale problem? She wants to have a sentimental goodbye, but we don't want to participate, but we're going to pretend like we care. Oh, you lied to me about pretending to care? Shop. Oh! Wait, Jess, I'm sorry! <laughs> this is so stupid. You guys were just playing along with this? Am I the one who's in denial about leaving this place? You sweet goblin-eyed dum-dum. Babe, I think the rest of us have already made peace with this. Put that down. We are not going anywhere. Do it! Oh! Like, another into it. I don't care. I don't care. All day. And it's not. Hey, I know some people sometimes they're like, oh, you don't care because it's, you only seen a couple episodes. No, I don't care because it's fucking stupid. Hang on to your privates because I'm. <clears throat> don't look so surprised, guys. <clears throat> oh, he married that. I'm ready to say goodbye to 4D. Oh, thank God. Not yet. Yeah, we, no, please. We've done everything. Let's wrap this bitch up. Shotgun tip us! Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna watch the final episode of season six. Cause I just have a feeling the quality difference, I'm gonna feel it. 
And if I don't, then I'll just eat my words. Oh, yay. Flash forward. Yay! What year is this? You're not wearing a Mitch Trubisky jersey. <laughs> we ain't a Chicago Bear no more. I hope they, I hope this is like, this would have had to have been year 2020. 2020. Or 2019 or 2018. See, this is what the show should have fucking been. Future, just flash forward. Let me just see their whole lives. This should have been the whole thing. Not them all being like, oh, I don't want to be here for half the episode. Why would you put them in a Mitch Trubisky jersey? That bothers me. Oh, was that a flash forward or was that in their imagination? I think that was a flash forward. It's weird that you put him in a jersey because that dates you, right? Because that guy only played for the team for four years. So that had to have happened in those four years. Because who buys a jersey of some old player that was a bust? Frank Sinatra! I don't get it. The truck is the prank? You didn't have to move. Ingram Paterski. I would, I would, literally, I would commit violence if someone made me pack all my stuff. I would be so, like, oh, I would be furious. I hate packing and moving. I don't really want to live here anymore. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I, it's okay, but people have been shot in my building. Several people have been shot in my building. I'm serious. I shouldn't be here. They threw a party in the pool area, and in front of the building, they had guards with vests, bulletproof vests on, letting people into the party. This is not a safe place. But I prioritize my not wanting to move above my safety. This is me not wanting to move, this is safety right here. <laughs> so yeah, I would punch you directly in the face if you forced me to pack up all my stuff falsely. Plus you probably also put a security deposit down on the new place. Oh yeah, that's, that's, not, that's not a good prank, that's just mean. That's a financially discouraging prank. This is a really stupid thing you did. You should see your face, this is what you look like. <laughs> this funny. is you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Let's go, we're leaving. Wait, so this is gonna move anyways? That apartment was sick. I don't care where you're moving. That was the best apartment in Chicago. Let's watch uh, season six. The, we'll just, just get a taste. Five stars for Beezus. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna cheat a little bit. When are Pepperwood and Jessica Knight going to get together? Pepperwood and Jessica Knight will never get together. These characters, they are based off real people. And the real people are just fundamentally different. Sometimes you don't get another chance, you know, to, to fix the mistake. It's, Look, adult relationships are really complicated. So let's hear it for Box! <laughs> Yeah, see, this is good. Hi, I'm Merle Streep. I don't care. Okay. Um. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Published children's books. Oh, so congratulations they... to you. What would you like me to do about that? I I'm about to make a call. So. Nice to meet you, Merle Streep. Goofy name. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I'd like to talk to you about publishing your book. What are you, some kind of a, a publisher? Yeah, this one, my card. I was trying to give you a card, but you. <laughs> yeah, I want you to publish my book. Is this how you normally are? No. <laughs> this is funny. This is good. Something went wrong in the seventh season. I'm gonna make an educated guess here and say that they decided to green light a seventh season, but a condensed season. And because it was condensed, it was kind of like a dead in the water show. A lot of people that worked on New Girl probably had an opportunity to go work on other stuff because they thought the show was canceled. So I feel like they probably lost a lot of their, their core writers. That's just a guess. Cause season seven, those two episodes weren't funny at all. Phil Collins, <laughs> Phil Collins held those two episodes together. Phil Collins and Winston. Winston was like, Far and away, the best part of the final two episodes. And this it's crazy, too, because the relationship between the husband and Zoe Deschanel... <laughs> do they have character names? Jess, because she's that girl. This is far more interesting than their wedding day shenanigans. We scheduled a no-pants dinner thing. Do you want me to take my pants off, too? Oh, no, honey. Tell me everything. <laughs> That's funny, because the suggestion would be like, do you want me to leave? But she's like, no, no, no. Do you want me to be a part of this as well by taking my pants off? Funny. That's actually your dad's phone number. You said you wanted to find him, so... Interesting. Okay, these are meaningful plots. Oh, God, this is so much better. Why did you make the seventh season? This is so interesting. This is like the weirdest show I think probably I've watched first and last of. Because when it hits, it hits hard. These are some Grand Slam jokes. But when it misses, it's just like hard to watch. If you've watched all of New Girl, let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. Would you recommend people just skip the seventh season? Because I kind of... That's... <laughs> Having seen now four episodes, four point like two five episodes, I feel like I can say comfortably like just skip the whole final season and just finish on season six, the ending. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>